yeah i don't know yeah i don't know what you're yeah that's that's if that's not enough for you then it seems like you're just kind of grasping for straws here uh, it's disappointing i don't I, what what do you gain out of that that she literally corrected in video, I mean, in, like in text form there. She disclosed that she didn't have credentials. She didn't answer the question at all. Yeah, I'm right. not buying any of this like righteous indignation nonsense. I'm sorry. That she already cleared up two months ago, probably at the same time that the video dropped. And again, if that's the thing that she already cleared up and fixed, it doesn't seem like you're needed for the conversation here. You're, you're, and you're correct. All I'm saying is that this would be an interesting conversation. It doesn't sound that interesting because you're literally just attacking a person by basically trying to I'm, say like, I'm, so again, uh, you keep grasping for these things in each of these things. So the first one was the Destiny one where she walked that back. The second one, she literally said, you're saying already that you know that she referred to herself as a psychometrist. All right, look, you can go ahead and say whatever, whatever you got to say last. I think you're literally grasping for straws. Starting sooner than you thought, huh? Hello, YouTube, you're out competing Twitch. Mm. So usually we do Gulag Archipelago on Mondays if I'm not otherwise preoccupied. Um, however, I wanted to chat with Mirutzi. Uh, first, she has some concerns about me, I think. Um, I don't want to put words in her mouth though, so I'm gonna let her explain it. Oh, you're in the chat, great. Um, yeah, me, I'm just gonna quickly watch this at probably sped up, um, just so that when it's released later on YouTube, my editor can be super happy with me. <laughs> Sorry, contrast. Just so we get contacts and then I'll bring you right on. I just, rather than you having to like say things a whole bunch of times, we'll maybe just let it all be, yeah. It, like in text form there. It's art, like, I don't know what else you want. She, she literally corrected it. Like, it's the top comment in that video. Okay, so the issue is, so the first thing that she's concerned about is, um, this is not the actual link. So at some point when I'm talking to Destiny, I fuck up in the middle of it, and I say that I'm a psychologist. The difficult thing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I Like, that's the problem, though, is, is like, as a, as a psychologist, I try to... Right there. So as a psychologist, I. So that's the first contention. Okay, so there it was. As a psychologist, I. So yeah, that was a slip up. Basically what I'd say to that is uh, it's easy to swap words. I was jumping between talking about actual psychologists and then jumping back to myself and talking about psychology as a field. But uh, if you guys remember when this original video was released, it was listed as a psychologist suggests. And I reached out to August directly and asked that it be changed. And it has been changed here. So this original original video, when it was released, said psychologist. Um, I'm not gonna release the DMs because I don't put DMs on screen unless I like absolutely must. But basically this used to say psychologist. I messaged Destiny directly and was like, hey, just so you know, I'm not a psychologist, I'm a psychometrist. Don't wanna be claiming anything that I don't have. There's another video where I have a top comment. It's not this one, it's another conversation. Where, okay, so psychometrician. So psychologist, so you can see it was originally labeled as a psychologist. And I went and said, hey, August, I'm not a psychologist. I'm a psychometrician. Get it right. So did my best to clarify and correct those things. August can do no wrong except for orange and green. Yeah. So that was the first contention. I'm not sure how she feels about it. So we'll, we'll check in. And then the other one was how I talked with Chud. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched it, but when I had a big debate, I don't think I have the clip. I don't know if we need the clip. Um, Fanatic watches it too. Uh, where basically he wanted my credentials and I refused to give them to him. Tell me what, no, 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 I'm not interested in that. Tell me what your qualifications I'm are. I'm not going down that road with you because it feels like bad faith argument. I can, everyone knows well, no, what I'm just my asking. qualifications are in my channel. You, You're listen, welcome to ask you wanna, them. You wanna be super pretentious with me, let's argument. go. This isn't good faith. I'm not being pretentious with why, you. I'm saying if you don't know you, the, why, listen, let me you, explain to you why listen. it's important that you need to understand no, hypothesis generation. No, you've done generation. enough explaining. No, you've if you don't understand hypothesis generation, then you're fundamentally misunderstanding the arguments that I'm making. The arguments I'm You've making are coming from I'm a scientific lens. Uh, so somebody in the chat, you guys can't see it, said, because with Ch Chad, she didn't want to claim she's right because she's the expert authority, which is true. That's more or less with Chad specifically. Um, I think it's, I really didn't want to be coming in as like, because we're talking about Ayurveda and psychology. And so I didn't want to be trying to be like, I'm going to dominate you because psychology. 
Um, I wanted to be like really honest about just data and just talking at a data level. Um, cause I think like appeal to authority can be valid when it's valid, but in a case where I'm trying to be like equal level with somebody, I'm not going to try to come in and like claim my credentials to just like dumpster them basically. And what we were talking about specifically was like basic processes of science, which you can just find on Wikipedia. And I think you can be exposed to. So I was checking if he had this knowledge, he checked for my credentials in return. I refused to answer the credentials cause that wasn't the point I was trying to make. I was trying to make the point of, it doesn't matter if you're not educated on this stuff, you can know it anyways. And the fact that you don't understand the scientific process is part of the problem that we're having here. That was more or less what I was saying. Basically, Mirutsu feels like that was, uh, but if people are making strong claims about topics like health and aren't for comfort, aren't forthcoming at best, she's been shady about their lack of expertise. It has real world consequences. I don't know what else there is. I don't know what else there is. Like, honestly, tell me, tell me what else you need. Like she literally corrected it. She said, Hey, I ain't no psychologist. I'm a psychometrist, psychometrist, psychometrist. What, what more do you need? Like, it seems like you're grasping for straws at this point. What is, what is she going to say to you in a verbal conversa conversation? If she said to you in a verbal conversation, I'm not a psychologist, I'm a psychometrician, would that make you happier? Do you get to the psycho... Uh, uh, can a psycho... Can a, okay, do you want to just come, come in on voice? All right. My Discord's open. Just, just, just join the Discord, Discord. Let's not do this over text. It's also her performance on Chet streams. It's also the titles of her videos. Okay, hold on. Her ethical... Got it. Hey, how's it going? Okay, yeah. No, I'm not... It's not personal against her. Okay. Uh, there's a bit of cutting out, out, out and in. Um, the rest, I think... I think I'm good... To, just just so that you guys have the TLDR, so we don't have to do all of it for a stream. Also, hello, random. We jumped from, I looked away at 30 viewers, looked back, and we're at 155. So welcome, all of you. There's a difference between talking about position and credentials. All right, so I'm going to bring uh, Mirutsi on, just to be clear, because obviously I have 155 viewers now, um, and YouTube, so... Um, you know, there's, uh, lots of us here and uh, a lot of you watch me, probably some of you hate watch me, but I think most of you enjoy watch me. So we don't want to do too much of like the attacking the individual, uh, Mirusi, if you're good to go, um, hello, hello. Hi. Hey. Um, sorry. I don't have a microphone, at least not on this computer. So, um, I'm like holding my MacBook in front of my face. So let me know if. Uh, you can't hear me at any point. That's okay. I'll max you out. Um, just so you know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm aggressively Midwestern, so I don't know if anyone wants to hear that. <laughs> uh, I think they probably want to hear what you're saying, though, for the conversation. Okay, so I wrote down a couple of notes. Uh, I guess I'd maybe check with your position now if it's moved since the fanatic conversation. Um, do you still have issues with the Destiny um, thing? No. So, like... It's not that I have issues, and this is a, it's a weird conversation because I um, will absolutely admit that I am not a charitable person, especially when it comes to this topic. Um, and have you disproportionately caught a large part of that non-charity? Um, I, I, yeah, totally. Um, I didn't come to Twitch to build a platform. I literally came to Twitch because when I yelled at my computer, I wanted people to yell back at me. Um, it also coincided with larger issues in my life that speak to why this is like, it just, how do you feel about cursing? Can I curse? Yeah. Oh yeah. I swear all the time. Oh, okay. Go back it, 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 Like just in general, like it triggers the fuck out of me. Um, I can disclose the personal, the, those reasons. I love to tell the, I, I love to tell the story, but it's not a bad faith attempt to like slander you or tone police you. Um, Twitch, no one on Twitch is that important, including myself. Like, I just fuck that shit. That's not, that's not what I do. That's not what I came here to do. You just happen to like be the person that displayed like my biggest trigger at the wrong time. And yeah, I've been really uncharitable and I do apologize for that. That being said, like when I heard the psychologist thing um, and then later listened to the conversation with Chad, put together like those two things and it just, it wasn't a good look. Um, I uh, admit, I don't know you. you, it could totally be accidental. I'm not going to try to imply anything on the part of your behavior. Um, but I am more interested in general with just speaking to people, lots of people, about these kind of concepts um, to see like where we, where where do we draw the line? Like if you do have an educational background in something, um, 
when, when is it ethical to disclose? When does it not matter? What is an opinion? What's authority? Yada, yada, yada. I'm, I'm monologuing, so just feel free to cut me off. Um, so what is your understanding of my education? Um, from what I can tell, you have a bachelor's in psychology mm -hmm. and a licensed, you're a licensed addiction counselor. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have... I have never heard of it, a, a graduate certificate? Graduate diploma in psychometry. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's, is that correct? Yep. Okay. Okay. Just checking. So what, uh, I guess, what's your concern with, because um, you, you feel like I'm speaking out of my authority, um, which uh, I know that you're saying it's not personable and, and you say like, I'm more so just catching your lack of chair. Like I'm, it sounds like I'm catching your anger in general about this. Um, and, and so I appreciate you apologizing. It's just, I, I'm trying to figure out like how to navigate this conversation um, because to what extent am I responsible for like catching the bulk of your emotions? Um, yeah, no, you know. and I will fully, I, I will fully like, um, I have no problem admitting when I'm being, how do you feel about the C word? <laughs> Uh, I just don't want to break TOS. Literally all I care about is, is TOS for the most part on Twitch. Okay. And like um, slurs in general, I'll probably like, well, oh yeah, I don't, maybe I, don't I, do I slurs. Don't, yeah. I don't do, I, mean, I tend to stay away from the slurs. Um, I'll call myself a, a twat or as, um, I've recently been told it's pronounced twat. Um, so like I, I can recognize in myself, like where. I have a, a valid critique and where I'm just being a condescending twat or I'm just being an angry person on the internet. So uh, feel free to dig in at me. I, I brought the accusations up. I made them public. I don't expect any amount of charitability back at me. Um, that's fair is fair, right? Um, sorry? He's asking about burgers. You can, you can call me Sarah too. Sarah? It's, I, okay. I, yeah, it's easier. Um, fair is fair. I'm not sure. Like, I'm not really big about like clapping back. The issue is, um, there's always going to be people who have hate boners for anyone. And I would say like, probably the main negativity I've seen about me has been people questioning my credentials a lot. Um, which to me, the frustration for me comes from, I'm, I go like, exceedingly above and beyond to ensure like that people are aware of what my credentials are and are not. Um, and I do my best to be clear when I'm talking from like data, when I'm talking from clinical experience and when I'm talking from like personal anecdote. And of course I fuck up sometimes. Um, but I would say like, I'm exceedingly careful on this stuff. Like, I don't know if many people would like post in a chat in, in the YouTube section and then message destiny directly to ensure that my name was corrected from psychologists. I think a lot of people would have been like, that's ah, not me, but like, I'll take the extra fluff, you know? Um, whereas I was exceedingly careful to be like, actually, no. Um, right. And I messaged them the day that that video was released. Um, cause I was like, Oh no, I don't want people thinking that I have credentials that I don't have. Cause I actually think that that's decently important. Um, mostly cause I think like honesty is really important. Um, not because I care that much about like appeal to authority specifically. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, that's true. I just, uh, something just like flew out of my mind. Um, like it, 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 I can, I can totally see like how it would get annoying that people were constantly like having hate boners over you over this. And Not um, too I much. Can... I'm just saying that that's <laughs> the only hate boner I get, which I would say is the one that is actually probably one of the least valid, um, critiques of me. Cause I'm exceedingly careful about this. Yeah, that's cool. And like, I'm open to everyone, like misspeaking, like God knows I've, you know, like have had my fair share of mistakes. I think, you know, like handling this the way I did was clearly one of them. Um, I, I, to me, I don't, I don't know if I really like want to dig in on you. Uh, and I know that might come across as like, I'm pussying out because like, when it was when I was talking to Fanatic, I was digging in on it. Um, but like, as someone who's going into this type of field and who is exceedingly cautious, where do you think like that line should be drawn in terms of like um, people know that I work in this area and um, 
you know, like not a lot of people know what a psychometrician is. And may, like, at what point in time do we hit that point where it's like, I should probably um, stop the conversation and, and just clarify this real quick. And I'm not saying that you don't do that. Um, I like, I haven't watched enough of your content. And again, like, uh, not charitable. I, I admit that. Um, but in, in your opinion, where do you think that line should be? Uh, I think precisely like where I draw it is where I'm comfortable with so far. Um, as far as like people not knowing what a psychometrician is, I'm pretty good at just answering if people ask. Um, I don't know if you watch many of my streams, but I'm also pretty active in the type chat. So even if I don't physically say something, you might often see answers. It might be worth throwing up like a chat command of like exclamation point psychometrist so people can find a link to it. Um, but oh, other than that, like I do think people can Google stuff. So like, um, <laughs> and like, I guess, where do you see the huge difference between like what what do you think I can't speak about that a psychologist could um because based on my training I actually have like I'm an expert in analysis on uh psychological factors right like that's what a psychometrist is most of my cohort when I was getting trained were already licensed psychologists so I'm actually more trained than the average psychologist on things like IQ and like broad psychological assessment so this is the issue of like I'm willing to say like, where should we draw the line of like what I am and not, I'm not an expert. So when I talk about politics, I'm very clear that I'm late when it comes to politics. I only know basic stuff about communism, right? So I don't claim expertise on that. Um, and if it's a specific point that I make, I don't know if you've ever, you probably haven't ever seen my debate cheat sheet because I don't put it up on screen too often, but it's about 42 pages of citations. Um, so that when people mm -hmm. say, well, where's a source for that? I can just give them a source because I'm, I'm really, really careful about that stuff. So like I would say, I'm not just like meeting the line. I would say my line is probably closer to best practice um, because it's something I care a fair bit about. I would actually say the line is even lower than what I do. I wouldn't throw shade at somebody who did less than I do. Okay, yeah, I think I just see it as, um, it could just be my, my cynicism too coming through when you say that like people can just Google it. Uh, like I, yeah, they can, but I don't, I, I guess I just don't trust people enough to either Google it or to Google it and kind of like fully understand it. So like, I would say the the line for me would be like, if, like I said with Chad, like if somebody asks you directly and I get where you were going at with like, I didn't want to make it about an appeal to authority. Um, but I think if somebody asks you directly, it's a question that probably needs to be answered. Um, you know, ju uh, just to clear things up, uh, like that, that's where I, that's where my gut puts me. Potentially, but I don't think what I did was incorrect, right? Because what we were talking about did not rely on my training. We were talking about basic scientific process, which is available on Wikipedia. And a lot of people who are kind of like more casual science, like they're not trained in science, but they spend a lot of time consuming science related media actually know the basic processes of like um, theoretical, like coming up with a hypothesis. Most people like know that. Um, and so that doesn't rely on my credentials. The credentials you'd need for that is like Wikipedia or like first year of any science course. Yeah, and I get that, but it's still, it's the, it's the direct question. And I don't wanna call it a dodge because I don't know what was in your head, right? And it, we we might just be looping, we might never agree on this and that's, that's fair. Like I'm not here to change your mind. Um, it's it's just one of those things that like to me that's a big red flag. So like my my credentials, I have a master's degree in justice law and society, but I'm not a lawyer, right? Like those are very different things, and I don't trust people to not under or to not understand those things. So like I went on heem stream the other day, just like pulled me out of chat to to, to talk to somebody, and like he he asked me, and I was like I but that I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. Um, because even though I had said I have a master's in law, I didn't like, I felt like it was kind of like my uh, obligation to make sure that people knew that I like, I'm not what you think I am. And what I say I am is also not what you think I am. Right. So why would it be my obligation to disclose my credentials just because people specifically ask about it? particularly in a debate that isn't relying on it, and I'm not trying to weaponize against you. 
Well, and I mean, to be fair, I did. I don't know what was in your head during the tech conversation, but would as you, somebody who was, would what? you give me the benefit of the doubt if I told you what was in my head, or would you just presume that I'm lying? No, I wouldn't just presume that you're lying. I mean, I listened to the conversation. It's like it it, it was a messy conversation on both sides. And I think at the time that he asked you, you were defensive and I'm totally putting thoughts in your head that possibly that you were defensive enough to just like not want to, to hear him say like, well, you, you don't have a PhD or you're not a doctor or whatever, um, which is fair. Like shit gets heated, you know, like it's fair on both of your ends. From listening to the conversation, it definitely sounded to me, as, as just a listener at the time, brand new to Twitch, that you were that you were speaking with authority about the subject. Um, I, I don't know if you intend to do that. You might not. You might. I don't know if that's a fair critique. If other people hear it, what, how I heard it. What do you mean you by authority? Right, because if I have a research paper that says something, I can speak from authority, but it's not my authority. It's empirical authority, right? And I don't think yeah. you would have a problem with that. I would assume. Correct. Correct. But okay. uh, and this is why. It's so, so with Chud's conversation, so I came armed with tons, tons of data. That's what I approached it with. Is mostly from a data point, and I was extremely honest about the limitations about the data around Ayurveda as well, right? Um, and so, what authority is the issue, right? When I talked about meditation, um, a, I'm a mental health practitioner. I'm a licensed addictions counselor. Meditation is completely within my purview to talk about, just from my training, but I also had set sources on it too. Cause I basically never rely on my training because there's a lot of bullshit psychologists out there who say a lot of dumb ass shit. And I don't care what your credentials are. I care what your data is. I get that. And when I say how, oh, what you were, how it sounded like, again, we in chat, the people who are listening, um, don't see those pages of research or those papers. Maybe you showed them after or before I got chat. I don't know. I didn't see them. The conversation I listened to, it sounded like the authority you were speaking from was merely in your tone of voice, in the way that you were talking about it, which is so esoteric. And I know I'm not making much sense or describing it very good, but it's something that you can't really describe. It's like pornography. I can't define it, but I know when I see it. Um, and that's how, that's how it sounded at least to me. Again, I'm not charitable. This is already a trigger. I've admitted that. Um, I don't like, I don't want you to think that like, you're kind to have the conversation with me. If I took you wrong, that's, that's fine. It doesn't matter. We can never agree on that. That is how I heard it. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I guess like, like you're, I, I appreciate that you're being really open about the bias. I guess like because your training is specifically in this, I'm actually more concerned, right? Because like you're drawing this line where I'm like, I'm completely within my right to be having this level of authority. I'm a mental health practitioner. I'm a licensed addiction counselor. I've been trained under psychologists almost my entire life. And I have done one-on-one -on -one individual counseling. Talking about the benefits of meditation is completely within my authority to do so. And as far as like tone of voice and stuff, like sure, I always talk confidently um, in general. And I do my best when I'm like, Hey, I could be wrong here, or I'm not quite sure what the data says here. I actually do my best to throw those caveats in there too. Mm -hmm. And uh, th to me, that's kind of like, then what, like I, you know, what, I get like the, you didn't want to make it about the appeal to authority, but like, to me, it's like, if you have those credentials, like it's important Abamner, to, when he asked to put them out there, because then like, if what you're saying is correct and, and you are confident that you are correct in it, then like people need to know that you're an authority in that and that they should give a, a higher level of weight to what you say. Does that make sense? Not regarding what we were talking about, right? I don't need authority to talk about the basic scientific process because that's very publicly available. And I don't actually think my credentials give me any more weight to talk about it than just anyone else who's learned about it. Specifically, why I didn't want to answer that was actually some level of charity. I didn't want Chud thinking that I was just trying to whack him in the face with my, an appeal to authority because I could have. I really could have, right? So like, it's weird when people like clap at me about this when I'm like, me choosing not to was actually refraining from a dunk, not like being sneaky and avoidant, right? Like I could have just been like, here's what my empirical training is. 
and just listed it out. And like for my age, it's actually pretty impressive for how much I have. Right. But I didn't want to do that because I was interested in engaging with the ideas. I was not interested in just saying, just because I have these credentials, you just should listen to me. I don't think that that's good rhetoric ever. I have a problem when most professionals do that. Uh, yeah. And you, I get at that point in the conversation, it wasn't about that, but I don't think that that co- like that conversation was listened to you, not just in the vacuum of that point. Right. Mm-hmm. It was like, it was building upon it the entire time. And so when he said that, I, I like, I get that, like anybody can search like Wikipedia, the scientific method, but it, the conversation was about more than just the scientific method. And, and like you said, anybody can clap at you. I clapped at you. Was it fair? I don't know. I, I know what I feel was communicated to me. Um, if you can, I can be a condescending twat. People could not like me for it. I don't want to tone police you. I don't think everybody needs credentials to talk about everything. I, it's just a thing that like, yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things. It, it triggers the fuck out of me because I've seen the effect that it can have. Not that you're having, but that the kind of uh, the the kind of environment can have if people aren't all, aren't as forthcoming as they should be, or the people who are listening to them don't understand why they're not being as forthcoming as they should be or as they think they should be or as you know like i i hope you get what i'm saying i'm not articulate right now so maybe not so do you still think that i am incorrectly calling myself a psychologist no i don't think that i I don't think that um i think that uh, clearly like i would say clearly you misspoke I, do, I don't know if I'm buying the whole, like, you were just trying to avoid an appeal to authority for not not disclosing them on Chud's stream. Um, but what is the I, issue with that I, when I am exceedingly straightforward about my credentials in most conversations? I'm very, very straightforward. I'm sure you saw, is- I'm pretty sure I saw you in chat when Meet con- interviewed me. I talked for 40 minutes straight about the details of what my credentials are. And I remember in chat you talking about like how like you were exposing me and stuff like that. And it's like, exposing me for what? I'm always straightforward. I, I, in whose chat? Uh, Meet's, Professor Meet. No, I've never been in his chat. Okay. Um, if you have, if you have logs, then you can send them to me, but I don't, I don't, I, I don't think I've ever been in this chat. Um, I know I've mentioned in other chats that you have triggered me and I've never said like, I'm exposing you because that's not what I'm trying to do. Like I literally, it's a conversation I've had, like I've reached out with other, not to have it about you, but just to have it in general, because I think it's an interesting conversation in general about like what expertise is and in where ethical boundaries are. Um, but I think it's like, when you say like, you're exceedingly open about it. Yeah. Like you probably are, but not everybody sees everything you do. Take me for example. Right. Like, and it, it, all it takes is like the wrong person to hear the wrong thing and misconstrue it at the wrong time. And, it's a risk we all take. I get it. Like, what's the risk? Kind of like, like, what's the risk if somebody takes me once out of context and thinks I'm a psychologist um, instead of psychometrist? Because the level of authority there is like, there's not a huge gap, by the way. Well, when you're talking about things um, in the realm of psychology that they turn around and apply those things to their life, mm-hmm. when you're not seeing them, even though you might have been trained as well as a psychologist, you're not seeing those individual people. You're not see, like as, as your patients, you don't have insight into what's going on with them. And it's not just in, it, it's not just a psychology thing. It's, it's kind of a, 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 the, a wider media literacy, like death of expertise type thing. Um, that I think has the real world impacts that has impacted my life. And I admit like that's where one of my biases lie. Um, I, and I, I'm honestly, what have I said that somebody is going to take into their personal life and make a big impact on their life negatively? Like what advice have I given, which I'm pretty careful to make very generalized statements about advice. I don't really give specific advice. 
Um, in DMs, the most specific I get is I'll hear about their situation and I'll recommend and help them look up resources. So if they're like willing to share which state they're from, I'll help them look at like different psychologists in their area and like which ones it seems like they'd prefer. So I do a little bit of that sometimes, but that's about as specific as I get. What's mm-hmm. your specific concern? What do you think I'm going to say? I've said that's going to like have real world harm. I like, I didn't, I don't like the conversation where you said you were the psychologist. Um, that you were talking about like therapy doesn't work or you didn't say therapy doesn't work. That's maybe an uncharitable. It was something about like most mental health conditions can be, um, you know, fixed by just changing their environment. And then at the end of that conversation, um, so what are said, most, do you know what most mental health conditions include? Do you, do you know what the like most mental health conditions are about 60%? I would probably say a, like a depression, like not a, not yeah. severe depression. Yeah. Like a mood but, disorder. Um, yeah, mood, mood disorders are most simply corrected by changing environments because typically what triggers them is stressors from environments. So absolutely. I wholly stand by that claim that if you change the environment, that honestly therapy is great too, but we often over rely on therapy, which is extremely inaccessible and extremely expensive when we should also be recommending people things like fix your diet, exercise, get out in the sun, right? And I get that. But what I'm saying is that you don't know who's, you don't know who's listening. I hope anyone listening does those things. And I hope all of you listening do that. (laughs) But you don't know if they have just a a basic mood disorder or a seasonal mood disorder or situational depression. And when they hear you say that, and then they hear you say you're a psychologist to me, that could be once once. And I get that. I get that. I admitted uncharitable, right? I would say exceedingly. Um, So though, right? Like I would say anyone watching that that would understand (laughs) that I'm not a psychologist. I don't know if you know this as well. I also have a brain injury that causes me to swap words pretty regularly. In a conversation that I had with someone recently, I talked about how I used to be a young earther and I kept calling myself a flat earther over and over because of my brain injury. I do this a lot. I inevitably knew that this is part of why I'm extra careful about this is that Mm -hmm. I am going to swap these words. I knew that was going to happen because I talk about psychology a lot and psychometry, which are extremely similar, especially schematically and how you organize them in the brain. And so I do my best to be pretty scrupulous. So like one mess up feels like a really, really high bar of being like, this is un- intolerable. Like it's just like the no, the no <laughs> professional should ever be in public social media. And that will do the most harm. You're, you're right. And I'm, I'm not saying that I'm not being uncharitable. I'm not trying to change your mind. I did not know about your traumatic brain injury. Um, in a similar situation, I have multiple sclerosis. And the reason this is so personal to me is because I was able to get a vaccine, but the treatment I was on for multiple sclerosis, no one was sure if the vaccine was going to be effective. And I've watched fake experts put my life in danger for like two years. So I like, I can extend that charity to you. I'm hoping you can extend the charity that like, this is an irrational trigger for me um, to, to understand a little bit more like why this pissed me off so bad. And did I come at you the right way? I, like I did email you and try to like talk to you before. Um, that's not to say that that's not to excuse how I came at you today. And I, I am willing to admit that it, it's just, it just hits, it hits me in my gut. Um, it all, I, I do, and I can't say that it will never not hit me in my gut. Right. I guess the issue is like extending charity doesn't mean that like I say like, oh, because you're like kind of throwing up your emotional stuff onto me that like, you're not really responsible for it. Charity would be saying, I'm going to listen to your words and give the best possible interpretation of your intention and the meaning. Right. So like when you Mm -hmm. fuck up once, I'm going to assume that it's a fuck up because that's the most charitable interpretation. Right. If you start establishing a pattern with me, right. If you see me regularly calling myself a psychologist, especially in cases where people like, wait, I thought you aren't a psychologist. You're a psychometrist. And I'm like, oh, oh," right. And I get flustered. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Right. I'm like not going around trying to correct it. You might have a case there, but there's a, like when we're talking about charity, right? This is different than like culpability, right? If I fuck up, 
Like I have a brain injury, which means that I swap words, which means that I once called myself a psychologist. I went above and beyond to correct that mistake by posting in the chat, I'm not a psychologist, I'm a psychometrist and getting August to change the title, right? So it's like, I can extend you the charity, but I'm not responsible for your feelings. That's actually no, for you. I'm and I do think you can I'm get to the point you. where you aren't throwing up on others because of your stuff. I'm not, I'm not making you responsible for my feelings. I don't think that I have in any way, shape or form asked you to be responsible for my feelings. I admitted that you caught the brunt of them and I admitted that I did it unfairly. Um, the, the video that I had the clip of doesn't have the comment on it where you asked for that. If you look at the pinned comment, it's just like a timestamp comment. So I like, I honest to God can tell you like what the video that has the comment on it. I didn't see that video. I had like the longer, it's like a four hour VOD or whatever. Um, and again, I'm not trying to make you responsible for my feelings. I'm just trying to, the way that you screw up your words because of your brain injury, I understand that and I empathize with that i am not responsible for you screwing up your words or the ramifications of those mix-ups no, right i am which Just is why i've like, corrected yeah. yeah which is why like i'm i'm simply saying like you're not responsible for the expression of my anger at like the larger world in well not world but um social media in general you you like that's on me i admit that mm -hmm. you might be exceedingly cautious and and great about um you know paying attention to that in other places i didn't see that i didn't see that i didn't hear that what i heard from the chud conversation was honest i'm i'm not lying it's it did not sound like you were um trying to not dunk on chunk on chad it sounded like the, the opposite um and then when i saw the the i'm a psychologist clip after the the therapy thing i don't think it's i don't think it's insane for for me to see those and to get a wrong impression right no i don't think you're in, i don't think you're insane for getting a wrong impression specifically if you say if you're admitting that that's your trigger right the difference is whether you uh, like, and, and you reached out to me privately, right? So like, I will give you benefit of the doubt of that. Like when it comes to that, I had the wrong email listed on my YouTube account, right? Which just like is a fuck up that is no one's is, is, is really like not that big of a deal. It just, we just missed each other. Um, I am curious cause you added me as a discord friend, but then you didn't message me about this. Um, did I you added you Lord friend mm -hmm. i'm also an absolute boomer so god only knows who i have added at it as a discord i don't even know who my friends are um okay um that's fair um just like i guess i'm curious because like you said that like i guess where i'm struggling with is like i'm, I'm willing to hear all the feelings like i think that that's fair enough i i also think it's fair enough from when you watch the chud thing to just interpret me uncharitably like I, th I think that's fair enough, right? It'd be nicer if you interpreted me charitably, but I'm not owned, owed that by any means. What I, what's interesting to me, to me specifically is that like, this is a topic you're specifically passionate about. And it feels like you, all of the claims, like this is something I care about. I want to see this corrected in the space. Right. And so you've, uh, directed some of that energies towards me first and foremost, but you didn't even really do much like digging into it. Right. Cause if you just like, dug a little bit more, you could have found honestly, this. Honestly, because I don't, I like, I, I don't expect Twitch to change. Like, I don't want, like, of course I would want to see it change. I like my, like I said, I came to Twitch because I was yelling at my computer and I wanted it to yell back at me. Um, I didn't come here to change Twitch. Uh, you, you just so happened to like stumble into the intersection of like my trigger and one of the first people I encountered on Twitch. I had already, like, uh, do I want to have a larger conversation about ethics and media literacy and, and expertise in general with lots of different content creators? Yes, and I've set those conversations up with a lot with a lot of them so far. I haven't had them because I'm an old lady and I go to bed really early, um, but they're on the schedule. Um, and I, I think it's interesting to get like a, a wide range of people to, kind of like weigh in on it and and where that line is so it, it's 
it might look and sound personal to you um and i i can't make you believe me that it really was just like you it i you were at that intersection uh yeah no i'm willing to like believe that um i guess i guess what i'd be curious about is what do you actually like i don't know i'm having a hard time with like i am not interested in like changing twitch i'm interested in having like the broader conversation um it's unfortunate that i like missed your immediate email right that's just like an unfortunate impact and so i can understand why you like chose to kind of continue to pursue it more publicly um because you felt like oh i tried to reach out she kind of ghosted me um so yeah and, and, and it played into my like that was like not knowing that that would that you didn't have the, that there wasn't the right email posted there yep. you just kind of spoke to the larger narrative that i already kind of had in my head from the chud conversation and from your misspeaking so it was like oh and now like i asked to i asked to have this conversation she's not even like telling me no she's just not responding at all like it's it, again and that wasn't your fault that wasn't my fault it just it kind of just like added into that environment that i was already like seeing you in yeah for sure and and like you said you're also taking the most uncharitable takes with me in the past, yeah, right? So when I, I did respond, that. rather than being like, oh, I wonder if something happened or like she's busy or something like that, I can maybe poke her on a different avenue. Maybe she doesn't check this email a ton. You were like, oh, I go, she like didn't respond. I'm not sure how you felt about that, right? But you felt at least some sort of way that you didn't want to try reaching out to me through Discord. Um, you- I honestly, like I couldn't, I, I honestly, like I couldn't find you. <laughs> which i'm willing to believe like discord is not the easiest user interface if you're particularly yeah, if you're not, like, like your familiar discord with these link things. is it on your on your twitch page that i can see at least and um i could have found i like i probably could have found you on twitter um i like i knew where to find you on youtube so i emailed you on youtube right yep um i guess if you're like interested in having this meta conversation and you're talking about like the standards of what is authority and what is not, if you're using me as an example of like not meeting that standard, the bar is so fucking high. No one will, and no professional will ever come on. And I'm going to tell you, this is exactly why professionals don't come on. Um, this is why we have failed academics. We have pseudoscientists and whatnot filling the space as far as like sharing information and particularly like empirical information is because to be honest, most people that even have my level of training i have so many dms and emails being like holy fuck i'm a clinical psychologist i'm this and that i will never go into these spaces because of exactly this stuff so it's like this mm -hmm. is the behavior that's actually causing more of the problems not correcting it what the behavior that i questioned you tone policing and like basically saying like this person doesn't have the authority to be saying what they're saying and kind of like pushing in a bunch about their credentials and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm literally not tone totally, like it's not about tone policing. It's not just about like the way you come across. Like I can make that argument without bringing in like credentials or expertise to it. Right. It is a confluence of factors that put together led me to believe something about you that I have admitted was, again, was uncharitable, but it, it's not about tone policing. Um, I think that a larger conversation could be had in, I, I, I don't like, I don't know. I don't know the solutions. That's why I want to talk to people about it. Right. Because like, I could get why that would be a chilling effect on it that people don't want to worry about making mistakes and having their lives ruined over it. I don't want to worry about it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know anybody who does. And I get that that would be, that's like one of the reasons why I want to further ha like have the larger meta discussion about it. So what do you think is the standard? I don't like, I don't know. That's, I don't know. I, that's why I want to bounce ideas off of people. I think as I said before, if if someone asks you directly, um, or if the conversation is about that, I think that in my gut, my my personal morals, maybe not ethics, but morals tells me if someone asks me, I should answer that, right? And then um, if we're talking about something related to what um, my my larger degree is in, or the field I work in is in, um, I should make known 
at any point in time where I, I feel that I'm starting to present in a certain way that what I am and I'm not, um, you know, ethically qualified to, to speak about. But again, that's in, I'm, that's my guts line. And I'm willing to say that like my gut is probably way different than a lot of other people's guts. So in the conversation with uh, Destiny, giving me the benefit of the doubt that I just fucked up once, but I actually presented my training pretty honestly for the most part. Do you still think that I overstepped my authority in what I was talking about? Um, no, no. It was, it was the, it was the misspeak at the end. So like hearing you explain it and hearing that it was a misspeak, like, of course, it's going to change the way I look at you. Like, I don't think you're a grifter, right? Like, if I thought you were a grifter, I would have gotten on here and like screamed and yelled at you. Like, I can only claim so much to like not be doing this in bad faith. I'm not even like looking to debate you on it. I just, I just wanted to kind of be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't understand because I have heard a lot of positive things. Um, and I like, to me, it was like, I don't get it because like, this is how I'm viewing it through this lens. And I like, but I, all of her other takes seem to be pretty good. And I agree with them. And everybody says she's, she's, you know, like a cool person, but then this huge red flaggy thing is happening over here. Is it a huge so red that, flag? To me, it is. To me, it is. And I think everybody Isn't is entitled to the problem though. I wouldn't call it a problem. Like I, if you're willing to acknowledge that that's your red flag and go to someone and have a conversation about it, I don't think that's a problem, right? I think people are entitled to have like their red flags, um, where where they want to have them, and if if they're honest with themselves about like, hey, yeah, this is my red flag, and like something isn't adding up, and you know, like this is my trigger, and maybe I should have a conversation with her, or maybe I, you know, like maybe I should not make the right choice and like make a claim on Fanatics Twitch channel about it. Um, I don't think that that's a bad thing as long as you can like communicate and clarify and and at least discuss it later. Um, I guess the issue is how many people, not most of the chat, it sounds like in fanatics was opposed to your position, but there's a couple who said, absolutely. You're 100% right now. So to some extent in this case, you've spread a little bit of misinformation about me, which is part of yeah. the problem. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and you know, I'm happy to correct that. That's why when you said like, I would, you made the accusations, I would rather be it public. Like, yeah, I did make the accusations and yes, I should publicly correct them if they're wrong. Um, I'd be happy if Fanatic wants to have me on, I would be happy to go do that on his panel as well, or go do that on his stream, whatever. Like I'm perfectly willing to like correct any mistake that I had made. Right. But since this is like your, your, passion right now is like exploring this topic. It's concerning to me that one slip up in a very long conversation, because I believe that that conversation has been chopped now into two to three parts, which is smart of August. But I think in total it was about a three hour conversation, right? So one slip up that you could point to being your bar of intolerable basically means we're all fucked. No, and again, Especially it every wasn't professional. Every professional is going to fuck up with. It wasn't just the one cover. It was that conversation. It was the conversation with the Chad, um, and then it was the not responding to the email. So I, I would like to think that like I, the one, like one conversation is not. I'm not going to be that uncharitable. It was like those three things in combination with each other. Right. But all those three things were like pretty different, right? Like one of them, you can maybe assume that like, um, you know, I'm a ghoster, um, stuff, maybe I, I refuse critique. The other one is, you, you know, there's something weird going on with the credentials, but it's, it's weird for you to like take that position when I clarified, well, which you could have just dug for. And there's tons of videos of me explaining all of my credentials. Um, and even in that conversation with destiny, when you listen to it the whole way through, I mostly just call myself a psychometrist. Like I, I mostly say that. So it's like, well, even in that one conversation you listen to without the, the, cause I get that there's two versions of that video and one of them doesn't have my post there. Right. Even if you just mm -hmm. listen to the whole conversation, it's, but like, I think so. I don't think those three things are totally unrelated. Like I, to me, like 
And I'm not saying that it is a pattern on your part or that it exhibits a pattern on your part, but I don't think it's totally illogical to like see those three things happen and then um, that they're not, that they couldn't maybe speak to a pattern of behavior, right? Like if I listen to um, the Chud conversation and hear you not like not give the credentials and then I hear you call yourself a psychologist and then you don't like, those three things to me are related enough that not saying that again, I wasn't uncharitable. I was, but I think that it would be, it's fair to say that like in the right, like in the right order at the right time, those three things are logically related enough that they could present a pattern. Maybe, maybe a pattern, but eat like because they're somewhat disconnected and I go exceedingly above to like correct one of them or at they least call myself like honest to God, like they at just- best you could call that a yellow flag. Like that's the issue is like the lack of charitability is saying like, if this is your passion, if this is what you want to talk about, the bar you're setting right now is too high, right? Because like they- I'm an individual who is actually particularly careful about this, right? Everyone in chat can think of multiple people in this field, in Twitch, who claim certain expertise that they absolutely yeah. probably shouldn't and, and even weaponize it, right? Which I also don't Trust, do. trust me, I, I know. <laughs> I, I know those people. Um, it, it, to me, they weren't like totally, like I, all three of those instances happened like within days for me. Cause I, like, I literally like heard the conversation like watch the, like because uh, the conversation I was like that's weird and then the VOD part happened and then I emailed you like almost right after that or something so it it wasn't that they they were separated and like honestly like I I don't I don't have that much time to watch all of all of your content should I have watched more yeah sure I can say that before like jumping the gun how I did. Yeah, I should have watched more. Um, but I didn't, you know, I didn't. And again, I, I've apologized for that. Um, I don't think that I, again, I don't think I'm setting the bar so astronomically high when you look at those things as possibly a logical pattern. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, this is the problem, right? Is like, if this is your expertise, this is a, this is a problem. Um, this isn't my expertise. This I don't, is your uh, area of passion, sorry. Yeah. What you want to talk about in Twitch specifically. No, I, I mean, like, not, this isn't all I want to talk. It's just w- one conversation that I want to have with other people. Um, people that don't, people, you know, strangers, people from all different walks of life. Um, people who are experts, people who aren't experts. Um Am I willing to admit that like, is, is my, is where I set the bar correct? No, I, I don't know. Maybe no. Yes. Who knows? Um, but we're never going to like figure it out if other, if, you know, lots of people don't give their opinions. And I, I really am interested in hearing where other people's opinions on this lie. Um, and I do hear like what you're saying about like it, yours is really high and is that influenced by my personal experience? And yeah, sure, of course it is. Am I willing to admit it's too high? I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't spoken to enough people. So in your understanding, did you believe me at least to be a psychometrist? You just thought that I was claiming more than that? Yeah, no, I totally, hold on one second. Let me grab a glass of water. Like my mouth is totally dry. I can barely talk. Sure. Be a psychometrist. Yeah. Okay. So then what is, so your concern is that you thought I was conflating it enough that it was so severe that you sent me an email, you considered it a huge red flag. And later after you felt like I ghosted, you went on to fanatics, um, and other chats, like you said, and talked about it when the gap between authority of psychometry and psychology isn't even that big. And you haven't even pointed to a claim that I've made that a psychometrist can't make, but a psychologist can make. Yeah, like you can rake me over the coals for it. That's fine. I get it. To some extent, I deserve it. I don't think that I was totally, completely like out of the realm of illogic or um, into the realm of um, totally consumed by my own personal biases to not like to see those things and, and come to the conclusion I did. Am I... I 
would I find, is my bar too high? Again, you can rake me over the coals. I, I'm not here to debate. I'm honestly like here, I'm, I'm literally just interested. Like we know where my bar is. Like we know where your bar is. Like if, if we feel we're looping, like you can end the call. I, like I, I, I'm interested debating because you said you want to talk about this at, at greater context. So I'm leading into that of being like, I'm concerned about the line that you're setting, like in the meta conversation as well. I'm concerned about the position that you're taking. I think it's going to cause more real academics to be less likely to come into this space, which is going to lead to more misinformation, right? So like, I'm not trying to rake you over the coals. I'm actually trying to point out like being like, if this is a thing you're interested in, if this is a thing that you're passionate about and you care about and you want to see improved. I'm very concerned about the, the standards that you're setting. Um, Like, I don't think you, I like this. Uh... In the same way that I didn't know all of your positions before I came on here, like, I am not articulating perfectly, like, where I think this is, nor have I spent, uh, you know, like, any time prepping for this. This is kind of like an off-the-cuff, like, oh, hey, she said she wanted to have this conversation. Um, could I, f like, think about a way to articulate it better? Yes. Um is there a way that you could convince me that where I have drawn the line is too high? I'm sure there is. Um, does my gut tell me I have I've drawn the line too high again? Uh, no, it doesn't. And I can't in the context of just you specifically, I can't like back up where my gut is telling me it should be. Um, and to some extent, it's going to be different for everybody. Right. Um, Abamna. So uh, yeah, like I, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, I guess like that's it is where it is. I if it goes any, if I place the bar any lower, I feel like. Mm, the the problem will be the same that more mis it will lead to more misinformation and if i place the bar any higher um you're saying that it's going to lead to more misinformation so it's it's like so where is that happy where's that happy medium well your bar right now from what i can see and you can correct me if i'm wrong seems to be that if somebody misspeaks their credentials once also refuses to give their credentials in a conversation that's heated and it seems like their credentials are somewhat being weaponized and finally doesn't respond to my email that's a bar of absolute intolerable right that to me seems like a really high bar because it's based off of specifically one mess up and one tense conversation where I refuse to answer what my credentials are, right? Like that seems like a really high bar. I feel like a much more fair bar would be like somebody consistently refuses to answer about their credentials. When asked in a calm and even positive conversation what their credentials are, they're pretty mm -hmm. fast and loose and aren't very specific. You know, I think that that would be a really fair bar to hold. So like, you know, do you see why I'm... The line no, I, of differences that I'm drawing, I, like of like what seems reasonable and what saying, seems unreasonable. But I think the way you're framing how I'm like you're framing it how it was in your head, right? In terms of like where it was heated and you didn't want like even just the way you said it and the way you framed it. Um and that was, I'm sure, what was in your head. That was not what was in my head, right? And I I didn't say that um where one person speak or, or or speaks wrong one time i said it's it's this pattern that when you're not in your head when you're in my head and maybe other people's heads um it, it that's what it appears like right so here's um, a good rule of thumb that i might recommend to you when i would look for a pattern of behavior i would specifically look for three examples of very similar behavior so three examples of me dodging to give my credentials or three examples of me consistently calling myself a psychologist when i shouldn't be particularly like if i don't clarify it or correct it right that might be a valid state three examples of different but somewhat related things don't feel like a good place to set the red flag at maybe a yellow flag i'll give you a yellow flag like sure it's worth like uh, that type of behavior. I'd probably be like, oh, that's interesting. I'm going to know like there's these three things that have happened. They look kind of similar. It's weird that she didn't respond to me. 
Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe a yellow flag would be more fair. Uh, like I said, I'm willing to admit that, like, absolutely personal bias played a hand in this, right? Like, maybe a red flag is too far. Maybe it is, um, or maybe it should be a yellow flag. But could you see that, um, and I know you said that people can Google it. Do you think that... Um, people who aren't listeners of yours, who were just listeners in Chad's chat, who haven't seen your content or haven't seen you correct yourself or say those, um, you know, like, or know about the brain injury or any of those other things. Um, could you see how they perhaps weren't, wouldn't be able to determine the difference there? Potentially, I just don't know if there would be any harm. Like in the Chud conversation mm-hmm. specifically, I don't think there would be any harm. I didn't make any recommendations about things that you should do. It was fully mm-hmm. questioned on like, how should we treat this like body of thinking, right? So like in that case, no, I, I don't think there's any You're cause for harm. You're breaking up. Um, I think it's on your end. It sounds like you have the issue with Fanatic as well. Can you hear oh. me now? Yeah, it might. It's probably my end. I set my computer down. Oh, um Okay. Um, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, I mean, and again, it feels like we're looping. Um, it's one of those things that, like, I, I don't know if we'll ever agree. Um, some of it is, you know, it's perfectly fine to not agree on. Some of it, it would be interesting to see if we can get to a sane and comfortable middle ground. I... Don't have like I I I feel much I feel better about you. Not that you should care what I think about you. Um, I'm just a stupid stranger on the internet. Um, do I have the same concerns? Is my gut changed on where that bar should be? I I'm not necessarily. I I don't necessarily think so. Um, am I willing to concede that there might have been some? That it might, should have been a yellow flag instead of a red flag? Maybe. Um, you know, I can't take myself out of my own brain and look at it through other people's brains. Um, and all I can really do is, like, very piss poorly try to articulate what I'm coming at with um, in this incredibly meta conversation. Uh, it would just be something that, like, it's something that don't want to call it like the great passion of my life but i am interested in it and i do appreciate like how you explained it and i think it's fair how you explained it i don't necessarily agree um and i don't think either of us pretty care that much whether or not i agree um well the issue is that like you're painting a specific narrative about my behavior and my thoughts and whatnot that i'm not comfortable actually being like propagated out there because it's untrue yeah well i'm not going to continue to like say that like i am convinced that like you are coming you are not who i assumed you were like i'm comfortable saying that right like i i don't feel like i'm not going to go out there and like slander your name i don't want drama this isn't my job i i do, i'm not trying to like piggyback off of a bigger str- like I, I literally could care less right mm-hmm. like it was a conversation it was an instance where i saw this pattern of things happen um i didn't have the full context i admit that it was already like a thing in my mind that it, i was interested in exploring you hit a trigger and yeah, this is this is what came of it. Um, I have no desire to continue to like go out there and slander you. Um, as far as I'm concerned, having this conversation with me alone, um, or not alone, like just me and you, but having like just the act of having this conversation is enough to like allay any kind of like sentiment that I would put out there about you, like you're you i'm me as far as i'm concerned like we're strangers i it doesn't matter right um so yeah i'm not interested in propagating any more narrative about you than i already have and i um you know like i'm willing to correct what i have done wrong i'm also not willing to necessarily agree with everything that you've said um in regards to it i'm also really not interested 
um, and having this debate. At least not right now. I would have to like think think, think through some other things. After or um, during the conversation, could you discuss would, Bayesian uh, thinking and how that may be beneficial in a circumstance like this? I don't, know if, that's all over the place. I don't, I don't like know if that's all over the place or not, but that's how I feel. Okay. Um, that's fair. If you don't want to have the, the greater debate, right. I, I have tried to like move it somewhere more towards like the area that you're specifically interested in, in large part, because I actually think it's an interesting conversation. I do think it's important that we clarify. I call out people who I think abuse their like, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if you've watched my conversation with destiny where I say, I don't even think most counseling psychologists should be claiming the authority that they have. There's a really big problem with that. Right. So as far as like this conversation goes, I don't just agree with you that there's a problem. I think that there is an immense problem. And so like the conversation oh. I'm really actually interested in having, um, we're getting stuck though. And basically like, you're kind of being like, yes, I apologize. I don't know how much I've moved on, like how I view, all this, <laughs> we are, yeah, but I agree that like, maybe it was a yellow fake and I, I definitely overreacted. That's what I'm hearing you say. Is that correct? Yes. And we're looping and I admit that we're looping. Um, and some of that is the same reason that I jumped the gun on with fanatic today. Um, you know, just like human reasons. Um, but I, I um, if you want to schedule a time to have the greater conversation, um, maybe, you know, um, I, I don't know what your schedule looks like and I don't want to clout, I don't want to clout goblin you. Um, so I'll put it in your hands. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, this is where I'm, I'll be honest, like where I'm stuck with is like, I'm not sure how interested I am in, in having the conversation with you specifically. I'm interested in the topic, but I am concerned that basically it seems like your personal experience with this is actually really clouding. And if these are the lines that you're drawing, I'm like, these are really not great lines. And like, if that's where we're going to agree to disagree, then I don't know where the conversation moves forward from that. Basically with yeah, you being like, like, I think I you're wrong and you're saying, I think you're wrong, right? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if we would necessarily agree to disagree in perpetuity. Um, I'm not saying that I, I can't be moved. I'm not saying that I can't be convinced. Um, I'm saying that in the, in today in in not like today in the esoteric today but like literally in the moment of this day of this year of this month um uh, like i am just not down for the for for a debate that um because I, I, I do want to i i am as genuinely concerned about it and genuinely interested in it and would genuinely like to have the conversation. Um, I just don't know if I am in the right mindset to have that conversation, right? Uh, like right in this mm -hmm. moment. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I definitely wanted to be able to like come on here and like correct the record um, and, and offer a sincere and you don't have to believe that nobody has to believe that um apology if i if i misconstrued or for what i did misconstrue um but yeah in terms of like digging in right now um not right at this moment <laughs> but now that um we have connected if at any point in time or when at any point in time you want to schedule the conversation i'm i'm down um i i would love to have it when i am in a not to the mindset I am in today. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's super fair. Um, I'm just not promising a further conversation because I'm not like overly impressed, I think, with this one. But I do appreciate the apology. It's not super clear to me, like specifically what you're apologizing for and for not. And I'm not going to like try to like hound you being like, make your apology fucking clear, <laughs> right? Like at the end um, of the day, like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not personally I'm offended. The problem is I do not want a narrative being spread that I am speaking outside of my credentials because it's distinctly false. Yes. And also, uh, if you give me, like, you'll see that the narrative, that I have no desire to, like, propagate that narrative. And I think if you give, like, if you give me time to, to prove that, that I'm not out there doing that, um, I, I think that that will, that will show upon itself. Um, in terms of what I am and I'm not apologizing for, um, I uh, I apologize for the fact that I threw that out there um, in such a public way that I did without first um, doing as much due diligence as I could. Um, 
again, I don't think that it was illogical of me and I don't necessarily apologize for seeing that pattern of behavior the way I did. Um, I think that uh, it was not a, a totally irrational or illogical pattern of behavior for me to see. How I went about addressing it specifically today um, was was out of line and uncharitable. And the fact that I have brought you up in, in a few other chats, not Professor Meads, as far as I know, um, uh, uh, that that was wrong. And it was shifty and it was shady and it was shitty. Um, and yeah, I, I, and that I, I do apologize for that. Okay. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Um... Yeah, as long as the, like the behavior change, it's a little concerning. Like, I don't think my line of thinking was the problem. I'm like, well, the line of thinking is what like got us to the behavior. Yeah. So if like the line of thinking doesn't change, there's no like, guarantee that this isn't going to happen again. But it probably I mean, won't happen I mean, with me. So I can just like I can. And that. you have to like, um, it isn't like I know exactly what led to the to the problematic behavior, and it was feel it was 100 feeling and not thinking. Um, so. Like I am, I am very well aware that those feelings were not um, adequately or correctly displayed or handled today. Um, and I, I like, I can't promise that I'm never going to fuck up again, but I can promise that I'm never going to go out there and like talk shit about you again. That's I'm not. I'm just. I'm not interested in doing that. Um, I'd much rather talk shit about people who I think deserve it more. So. Okay. Probably don't talk shit about people unless you have good evidence for it in the future, though. Well, I mean, like, when I'm... Like, like, make a manifesto, you know? Dig in. 20 I'm, hours. I'm a chat whore, so I, I jump from chat to chat and just kind of make, like, obnoxious comments when I hear shit that I don't like. Like most people do on Twitch. Um, so I can't say that I'm never not good. Like, I'm never... Uh, I, I will definitely say something mean about someone probably within the next... 24 hours um will i make it into what this has become no no um would i like to have the better deeper conversation with you at a later point in time um yeah sure if you want and again it's it's up to you um i'm i'm willing if you are um i just not not in this moment yeah no that's fair like i i've heard you say like kind of probably flustered right like you're in front of like, like three to <laughs> oh, well, i'm not reading chat three to six hundred well, yeah. people like talking about this so it's I, can, like, yeah. I can only assume that chat is like this bitch tone you know like lefty blah 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 um which is honestly like not uh -oh, I'm not are even, you a lefty no i'm a shit lib total shit lib. <laughs> okay um, I'm a capitalist. I'm a shit lib. I would just like some free health care and maybe, uh, you know, like shit, like don't fund schools with property taxes and some better criminal justice, you know, um, not big asks. Okay. <laughs> At least I don't think they are. Um, but yeah, no, not, not a lefty, not a woke school. Um, this wasn't about about to me. It, it was, and there is a larger personal discussion that I would be also willing to have to kind of explain um the whole real world ramification thing that i i spoke a little too about but it it extends way beyond that um that i think is also an interesting story if at any point in time anyone would like to have that conversation with me they are more than welcome to um send me a message on discord and and i would be more than willing to have that conversation fair enough has anyone ever told you that you sound like drew barrymore no, <laughs> but I think I sound aggressively Midwestern. I don't know where she's from, um, but they haven't. Do, do, do I? I don't know. I guess I'll have to go listen to her. Although the, it, would also, it would also entail listening to myself, which is the most cringy thing on earth. That's true. But sometimes listening to ourselves, we can, you know, if, if, it's, if you're using your own brain and, and trying to come to these conclusions, sometimes self-reflection can be the best metric to uh, uh behavioral uh, yeah maybe maybe not for this conversation this is not my best conversation on <laughs> not my best today um uh yeah it's okay i'll just so. tell people i talked to drew barrymore so you know <laughs> no you can tell um yeah if you can tell people who i am so that they can you know throw whatever insults they want at me like i said i made it public first 
So if I make it public, I should be willing to accept the backlash of that publicity. Um, or you cannot, because also I don't want to cloud shark. So however you think that you it should be done is up to you. Um, well. You know, I would just encourage you to have this conversation with others. Um, just... Um... I would really, I would really try to take the red tape off of professionals. We need more professionals, mm -hmm. more researchers, more experts speaking in these spaces, not less. And I really do think that what you're talking about, what you kind of held me to, um, is precisely the things that people are afraid of. Um, mm -hmm. And if this is something you care about, right? Clarifying yeah. misinformation. I mean, that's um, that's a fair point. Really I honestly into that, yeah. Yeah, like that's a fair point. I, I honestly like that's a perspective that I ha I literally and totally had not. Um, even the people that I have talked to have not heard that perspective from, and it's definitely something to kind of like wrap my mind around. Um, because I think with most people, like I, I don't like, I don't, I don't like to say that like you know, maybe my gut was wrong, but like maybe it is. Who knows, right? Um, and I, I like I, I get your point. I, I see what you're saying. Um, and I'm definitely willing to like think about it. Um, yeah. I'm just really passionate about that. And if I, mm -hmm. if I hear that we're scaring off more professionals, I'm going to be really sad because they're already, they're already <laughs> scared sure. off. I promise that is the opposite of what I'm trying to do. I hear um, that, but there's nothing, even like with your original position, there's nothing that I said was even a danger to society. Even the mood disorders things. It's like, even if somebody has beyond a mood disorder, still like changing your diet, exercising, sleeping, I, I know. And going it's outside not is like still good for them, you know? So it's like, it just, is. just be careful. Just be careful. It, and it's not just about the psychology. It's about like all fields in general. Mm -hmm. Um it, which is why I, I want to talk to like a variety of people. Um, and, and now I feel like I'm just like taking up your time when you should be studying for whatever panel you're going on tonight. Um, and I should Wednesday. be in bed because I'm old. Oh, Wednesday. Um, I'm old and I'm tired. Um, okay. And I hope that people, I, again, I'm not that important, but I do hope that people at least understand that I was genuine here um you don't have to like me i can be a condescending twat i admit that um in fact it's in my bio uh but i do at least hope that people think i'm genuine or know that i'm genuine okay anything else? all right nope that's it i'm good hey be safe thank you y you too bye bye hey bye how do you guys feel about that recommend that she listen to this back again yes it's tough i'm not gonna lie i've listened back to some of my conversations in my bed crying because <laughs> it's so mortifying sometimes. So I agree with that. Um, I'm really hard on myself too, but beset with sadness to see Eredite getting smeared by a CIA operative. <laughs> I'm surprised that Mirzi is walking away from all that talk with basically no change in her opinion. She changed a little bit, right? She started with an apology, which is based. Um, I know you guys are mad, but she could have started without an apology. <laughs> And that would have been worse, right? She could have doubled down and been like, not only am I not apologetic, but fuck you. And you're still wrong, right? So like, you know, she she actually moved a fair bit, even from like her original position with like Fanatic and stuff like that. I called it from the start. It would be a tone policing person. I was just wrong about them being a lefty. True. It was nice to not be tone policed by a lefty. It actually feels refreshing. I think, I like to think she realizes she was largely arguing from her feelings. I mean, she said that, right? She said, it's my gut, my gut. And when people are saying my gut, they're meaning like my feelings. Um, any other things you want to talk about? She wasn't willing to completely deflate her character, especially without having an existing reputation. Erudite's getting red-pilled slowly? I don't think so. I think I've touched so much grass. I've been so disillusioned and come back from the world already that I'm going to be pretty hard to red-pill. Test. Put in fake brain juices into my head and fix me, Daniel. Goblin After mode. party in the Discord. Mm. Woo!